Hi guys, and welcome to the Voice of AI. My name is Chris Plant, and it's time now for my tutorial in Photoshop Generative AI. Today I'm gonna to show you how the use of Photoshop Generative AI and Generative Fill can bring your interior design ideas to the next level. Whether you're looking to decorate your home or working professionally, or even pursuing an interior design course, these features are a must try. With the help of Photoshop AI and Generative Fill, Interior designers can now rely on limitless features to bring their design vision to life quicker and easier than ever before. This feature makes it perfect for house interior design by allowing you to experiment with different flooring and wall textures effortlessly. Okay, so we've got three images here, number one, two, and three. These are from Lovely Modern Spacious Designs. And um, I'm gonna pick number two here, and let's choose the lasso tool and make a nice lasso around the bottom here just on the floor area and what i'm going to do is i'm going to put into my prompt here add flooring tiles in gray shade to complement colors and tones let's generate that okay so you see now we've got some lovely parquet floor and a carpet and a new table if you just click off the layer you can see the old one okay this looks really nice and look at the three ideas it gives us at the bottom there's always three ideas one, two, and three. I like that third one with this nice stone floor. Let's select the wall area now with a very loose marquee. You can see I'm just gonna go around the edges here. And then let's put a new prompt in. And the prompt will be add flooring tiles in gray shade to complement colors or the tones. And you can see that's a lovely painting there with not nice colors. Uh, we can go to the second version, another different type, which is more three dimensional. And then the third type, which is also another painting, and there's one on the right too. So they're all very nice indeed, and you can swap between them. And I can also change the layers and go back and toggle between the flooring as well to choose which design I like, or even show my customer all of them. Furthermore, this feature enables you to create personalized and unique designs that match your design goals. And whether you're working on bedroom interior design or interior design living room concepts, Generative Fill and Photoshop makes the interior design process so much more efficient, allowing you to focus on other aspects of your project. Okay, so I've already got an example here. It's a client type interior that would like a few minor changes. So we're gonna add our first prompt into the uh, standalone generic control panel. So add the decoration to suit the room style. Let's put that in and let's uh, press generate. Okay, so we've got that already, that's perfect. And you can see we've got three different versions. There's one of three, this is number two, and here's number three. You can see they're all quite nice. I'm gonna pick number one here. Um, you can decide whichever uh, you would like. So let's have a look at the next item now. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is well, get my select tool and draw a marquee here. And what we're gonna do is another generative fill. And let's add a light stand now, generate, and there we go. We've got three different types of lights. And of course, this takes a little bit longer usually to generate, but these are predefined. Uh, I'm going to choose this one, number one. And now what I'm going to do is take my cursor again, and I'm going to draw a circle here or some ellipse on the floor. And I'm going to give that uh, another prompt, add a white rug. And let's generate that as well. So here we go. We've got the white rug and I've got my three versions. Okay, that looks pretty cool to me. I like that one. I like that one too. In fact, they're all very nice. So I'm going to pick version number three. Let's leave that one there. Okay, perfect. And you can see I'm gonna now make that a little bit smaller and let's go to the canvas size. So now we're gonna use generative fill and we're gonna make that a little bit larger. Now we'll use our marquee tool to select the bottom part of the picture there, the image, and we'll use the generative tool again so we're going to leave that completely blank and you can see now version one looks quite nice version two obviously with the reflection and version three a hard service but you can see the first version is pretty good here so what i can do now is crop that image now i've got a full image with the carpet on and the flooring as well so that looks pretty good to me i quite like that so the great thing is with this um, generative standalone control panel is I can move it around and it will just be wherever I want. Just pop it down to the bottom here again. So let's take the marquee tool and select this chair here and we'll go to the generative fill again and we'll just simply say remove the chair. So let's just put that in, remove chair, oh, IR, there we go. And simply, there we go, we're going to have a cushion and it's also put some cushions on the chairs there too. And then last but not least, let's select the entire window 
frame with this loose marquee. You can see I've not been particularly accurate here. And then let's just go to the generative fill, add curtains to windows. Okay, so let's just uh, put that in and let's generate that. Off we go. And you can see that it's added some fantastic drapes there as well. So limits your imagination. This feature could be a perfect helper for creating visually stunning spaces that showcase best features while remaining cohesive. In addition to making the design process more manageable, incorporating Photoshop AI and generative fill can help you communicate your design visions to your clients effectively. With AI-powered mockups, designers can quickly create high visual quality representations of their design, which results in mutual understanding and of course, increased client satisfaction. The combination of Photoshop AI and generative fill in Photoshop will help revolutionize interior design courses. By providing designers with numerous creative opportunities, it delivers accurate and realistic impressions of the end product. Okay, so we've got three nice office views here, one, two, and three, all over the city center, looking really, really nice. So what we'll do is we'll take our marquee tool and make a lasso here, and I'm gonna add a generative fill, add leather, relax sofa area. So let's generate there. Okay, so we've got a cool looking sofa there. And on the other side, I'm going to, to mark a lasso as well here and really making it very easy. I add two modern computer desks and let's generate those two. Okay, so you can see we've got the computer desk in there. And look, when I take away the uh, sofa, you can see that the window area changes. Same on this side too, because um, it's gen generating complete AI picture. So here I'm going toggling between the three pictures. Um, on the right hand side, you can see it's grown some more AI on the right there. Um, and we go to these tables again here, you can see, yep, it's still there. So if I take this table set, we've got our first one here, looks quite nice, but this one looks a bit better, but the ones at the back really, I mean, what are they folded up tables or something? They don't really look particularly good. So probably what I would do in this case is I just select the right layer, make sure I've got my lasso tool. And let's make sure, yeah, on the right. Yeah, that's the right layer. And I just want to lasso that with a 20 pixel feather. Let's just select 20 pixel feather and then just delete that out of the way. Um, and you can do that quite easy on these, but remember that the AI in the window uh, looks a little bit different. And if you're an aspiring designer or even looking to automate your workflow, incorporating generative fill and Photoshop AI is a complete must. Well, that's it for today, but thanks for watching the video. And if you haven't already, please like and subscribe to our channel for more AI related content and tips. And join me on the journey to unlock the potential of AI. If you've got any questions or feedback, especially about Photoshop, please leave them in the comment section below and I'll see you next time. All the very best. I'm Chris from The Voice of AI. Cheers and bye-bye now.